<sighs> Hi guys, I just wanted to come on here and just basically use this as my outlet. I don't, I haven't been, you know, doing YouTube videos or having, just having the desire to do it lately. And not because I don't want to, it's just because I just feel like a lot of my life is just in shambles right now. And it's just, basically what I'm trying to say is that I have a lot of emotional issues and I'm getting help for that right now. But I still feel like I just need more time. I just need more time. Me time. And I'm a single mother. You know, I'm, I have two beautiful children. And sometimes it just weighs down on me a lot. And... I am I am in a relationship right now and I'm very very happy and he does you know interact with them or whatever but that's not the issue the issue is the people I've chose to have my children with and um my oldest daughter my oldest daughter um me and her father weren't in a relationship that long. We basically, basically what happened was um, we worked, okay, we worked the same job. Um, <clears throat> and I was 18 at the time and he was 27. And he got attached to me really, really quick. And, um, it was cool. I was still, but I was still in, I was still, I still had a little girl mindset. I wasn't really, you know, ready for a serious relationship, but I wanted it in a way. Um, I just took whatever he gave me, basically. I wasn't ready to really settle down or be in, you know, uh, just, just, just tied down yet. I just, I'm, <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say, it's hard to explain, but, you know, when you're a little girl, when you're a little, when you're young, you don't think correctly. And I felt like that was my problem. Um, but anyway, moving on. Um, we were dating for about a week before he told me he loved me. And I didn't know how to feel about that. So I was like, I didn't say it back. I didn't, because I didn't feel that way at the time. I didn't. Um, I always felt like we didn't have like a real connection. I felt like I only dealt with him because of how he felt about me, not because of how I felt about him. And that was my issue. I never came to terms with how I really felt. I just dealt with it because, you know, he was, we were in a relationship, but I didn't really, I didn't ever feel like a tight, tight bond between us. We dated for about maybe three months before I even, before we, okay. We got engaged after maybe two months <laughs> or two or three months. And then we had a child maybe like a month after that. Like I got pregnant and we agreed to have our daughter fine. But then after time went on, we started having really bad issues. And it was just so stressful because... Yes, he was older than me, and he used to use that against me a lot, and I used to feel so taken advantage of, and I wasn't really comfortable in my relationship, and 
I mean, I wasn't, you know, attached to him as he was to me. So it was easy for me to just be like, you know, whatever to everything. And it was, it was just a hot mess, hot mess. And he always talked about just not being there. I mean, (laughs) he comes around when he can, don't get me wrong, but it's like, he thinks he's putting in the effort that he is and he's really not. I don't know how to explain that. But I feel I feel like he spends very minimal effort and he covers that up with just gifts and money. And you can't do that. I don't care about the money. Money is good because you have, you know, you have a child. Money is good. But the time that you put in as a parent, to me, matters the most. And by you just being like, okay, here, take money. That's that's not being a parent to me. And just going on about your business, that's not being a parent to me. Being a parent is being there for your child as well as taking care of your child physically, mentally, everything. Taking care of a child is not easy. And I don't think he understands that. He comes maybe twice a month. (laughs) Um, Even since she was a little baby, um, he was there, but he wasn't really there. It felt like he didn't want to take the time out to know to know her he just came I mean I understand he worked okay everybody works but it's like at least at least take the time out to spend more than a couple of hours with her um I was very attached to her as a baby like I always wanted her underneath me because I had the time to I never had the time to have her you know, somewhere else, or have somebody else, you know, taking responsibility for her other than me, um, I was with her all the time, all the time, and now that she's older, it's kind of weighing down on me, and I need some of that me time, you know, and he took her for maybe he took her for the weekend recently after maybe like a year after that was the last time he took her it was either a year ago and um he uh he took her and I was expecting you know some alone time and I didn't really get that when I'm with her it's like I can't get me time I can get me time but it's not it's, it's not the same as, you know, having her go out somewhere. I don't get that all the time. I don't get, I barely get it. Like I said, the last time he took it was like a year ago. Um, the only me time I get is when I'm at work, really. I don't, I don't really get any alone time. I mean, my boyfriend is fine. Yeah, but when you have kids, you have to take care of them, correct? So it's not the same. It's really not the same. I've never... He, he, okay, I have to deal with her temper tantrums and everything else, but the moment he experiences that with her, it's okay for him to just drop her off back home. She was barely there. Okay, the time... They left maybe early yesterday, and he brought her back today at the butt crack of dawn. It's not that easy for me. I can't just drop her off every time she gets on my nerves. <laughs> it's like, it is so hard. And, and and my other daughter's father, he's just not involved at all. And I was with him for two years. And I might get into that in another video. But, um... These dads, sometimes, they just think it's so freaking easy, and it's not. If you don't put in the same time and effort as the mother does, then it's not not the same. It really isn't. And 
I felt like I was going through postpartum, I probably still with him. You know, I never really took care of that postpartum depression. And I'm going to therapy now, yes, but I still feel like it's not, it's helping, but it's, it's just so much that I would want to get out. And I just wanted to just get my feelings out now before I just freak out and just lose my mind. Um, I might post this. I might not, but I just wanted to not be a voice, but just just be there for other mothers that's going through the same stuff I'm going through, single mothers that just don't have an outlet. You know, crying is good, yes. Writing down your feelings is good, yes. Even doing what I'm doing, making a video, just to try to keep yourself together is a good outlet. Just talking to somebody is a good outlet because it's not easy. It's not easy doing stuff by yourself. Yes, he gives me money, but it's like hush money to me. It's not like he's actually doing what he needs to do. It's, it's, he's making it seem like he's like babysitting her. Like, I mean, you're not really there. Like, she needs you to be. Yes, she knows you're her father, but it's like, you're not picking up the slack. You're not dealing with everything that I have to deal with. You're not dealing with all everything that I deal with. You're not. You just, I don't know. And it's like, if I say something to him, it's like, it's an issue. It's automatically an issue. So that's why these t these days, I don't say anything. I don't say anything because it's always an issue. And dealing with it for a while it's like I don't say anything because I feel like if I do like I said it's gonna be an issue so to prevent all that I don't say anything and I just keep my disappointment my anger inside and I know that's not good but it's like if he has an issue with everything you say you're not gonna want to say anything anybody even if you have one of those parents that just want to just scream at you for everything and judge you for everything that you do. You don't want to tell them anything anymore. You're just going to keep it in. Because <laughs> everything you say, they have an issue with it. But um, I think it would be more effective if I do turn to YouTube as my outlet. Because maybe, just maybe, I just might find other people that go through the same things I go through. And I just don't want to come on here and do makeup all the time. Sometimes I do want to just sit down and talk about me and open myself up to other people. I can't wait to get like another camera. Like filming on my phone and my laptop is so depressing sometimes. Because I, sometimes I look at other people's YouTube and they have such beautiful quality and it's like, ah. But you know what? It might, even if it might take me longer, I'm still going to do my YouTube thing. I'm still going to show and educate other people on what I know about makeup or whatever have you. Um, I'm not really a good talker in front of the camera, but it's nice to just sit here, even though I know I'm not talking to anybody physically, like in front of me, I know that somebody, just somebody is watching, and that makes me feel good. It really does, and I'm not doing YouTube for money. That's not what I want to come on here and do. I just want to uh, come on here and basically show what everybody what I like to do, what makes me me happy um yeah but this is this is going to be probably my new outlet just you know even if I don't make a video on makeup I could just come on here and just post a video on how I'm feeling or you know just express myself um yeah so stay tuned for the next video. Um, I don't know when the next video will be. Uh, just stay tuned for it. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.
subscribe. And I love you guys. See you in the next video.